So, and now let me show you quickly how to do the whole thing in Ableton. You load out, up the Ableton template, then you create a MIDI track with the RX1200. Um, then you go to choose Octave uh, for the MIDI layout and polyphony of the channels should be two because we are using bank A and bank B. Um, the MIDI patterns are lay, laid out like this. So they work from C1 to G1 and from C2 to G2. And um, if you buy it, you will exactly know on which slot or which note you have to play, place which sound. Of course, you can be creative with it, but uh, I think it's a good starting point to use the slots like I laid them out. So for example, right, we have here the patterns. Um, let me close this. These are the 16 patterns and you can think of it like this. It starts with the kick. So after we have created this MIDI rack with the RX 1200, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna um, go to instruments and uh, use external instrument, bring that in. And there we have to adjust um, some things. So first MIDI 2 should be RX 1200 then easiest way and fastest way to do it is copy that one two three four five six seven eight eight slots for bank a again kick and so on and then you go into first external instrument and where it says midi uh, sorry audio from you select output one Second, you go in, choose output two. Third, you go output three, four, output four. Very easy, five, you guess it. It's uh, output from five, six will be six, seven, oh, sorry, I'm always, seven will be seven and eight will be eight. So basically that is uh, bank A on the RX 1200, first um, button to last button. Then because we are using the same polyphony, we duplicate everything. Now you have 16 slots, right? 16 instruments. Next thing you have to do is go into um, the template copy like this all the midis command C close it go into the first slot of the first external instrument um, hit command V and um, there you have it let's mute the original rack you can also delete it and then you have it. Um, yeah, what I have to do, because I didn't load the samples, that's what I do, have to do next. I already prepared this. And then you can, then you can easily change change uh, the samples by dragging and dropping onto the pads, whatever you want, right? Um, yeah, and that's it. And you can apply the same principle to machine, to battery or any other sampler. Hope this helps.